Hi, I'm Sue with Woman of Noble Character. Have you ever wondered what the Bible said about birds? Birds are mentioned numerous times throughout the Bible, and there are many references to birds. Oftentimes, um, the word is used just as fowl or bird, leaving the reader to guess at the species. Um, over a hundred times, in fact, it's used in that way. But it's interesting to note that in the Old Testament, birds are written about much more frequently than in the New Testament. For example, Moses in Genesis, he refers to birds dozens of times, but Paul mentions birds only twice in all of his writings. So in this post, we focus mostly on um, sparrows and other small birds. I do have another post on eagles, ravens, and unclean birds of the Bible, which I hope you'll check out and is referenced in this post. But some of the mentions in the birds are simply referring to birds in the sky. But in other ways, we see how they're used symbolically. And uh, doves, for example, we are very familiar with Noah's Ark when the dove was released. Uh, Yonah, dove, is the exact same Hebrew name of the prophet Jonah although the J sound don't exist in Hebrew. Uh, so if you come across an English biblical name with this letter, you convert it to a J or to a Y and keep the vowels as they are, which is kind of an interesting uh, note. So the dove or Yona is written about in the Bible as much more than just a beautiful common bird. References to doves are filled with symbolism. Though most of us think of doves as pure and pigeons is dirty, uh, bird experts will confirm that they are actually the same bird. So in each of the Gospels, a dove appears as the Spirit of God. Most of us envision a beautiful, pure white bird. However, the bird that appears at the baptism was most likely a rock dove, a common species for that geography and time period. So I hope you'll enjoy this post on the symbolism of birds in the Bible, and I'd love to hear your thoughts. Have a beautiful and blessed day.